Get DSTV Compact. Repelled initially, but only as far as Cassius Mailula. Now, Neo Miami's ball in for Shannon That's his bread and butter. And he adds to the brace that he scored in the last 32 with a lovely control and finish. I think with the it starts off very well that you're expecting that you're thinking that uh, uh, Marumo Gallants defend that ball very well, but the second ball there they couldn't defend it. But Neo Maema putting that ball nicely just behind Tepo Kumete and Tangwani there. But look at the control there from Shabili, the, the composure mm. that first touch sets him up very well to be able to slot that home. Stayed on side wonderfully well. I think it was Botimelo Peko who was playing him on, and Peter Shalulile who opened the scoring. Just try and turn Mabi Sandal's defense. And uh, oh, how about this for Sundowns? Zwane. Morena gets a touch. Tempo Zwane again. And Shalulile. Who else? Well, a game and a half into this Snedbank Cup campaign. And they got four wins in his first four games at the club. But uh, it's not going to plan against Mamelodi Sundowns here. I mean, the initial start of this goal, yes, Timberzwani took initiative there, and then the ball bounces back from Urubi to be able to play it on by Peter Shalilili. But it's that initiative pass that comes from the midfield, it comes from a defensive line to be played on the right hand side where Shalilili made that run. Well, this would be awfully unfortunate if Maruma Gallants were to concede from this particular set piece. And they have. Well, from a free kick that never should have been given, Mamelodi Sundowns re establish their two goal cushion. But the hosts have a real right to feel aggrieved here. Duck still in a very onside position. The they did have a touch, I think. I think as a striker, they all count. Good set piece there from Neo Miami. Unmarked Peter Shalili, the far post. Marimu Galens got punished. Well, you must capitalize on the luck that uh, you get. Watch DSTV Compact.